Hi, I'm Adam, a GIS analyst at ESRI. ArcMap has become a powerful image workstation and enhancements I'm going to show you are certain to address how we can use and be more productive with our imagery. We now have a dockable uh, image analysis window that puts the tools we commonly use right at our fingertips. As a result, we can work with imagery and use imagery faster and easier to be more productive. I'm very excited to show you these new enhancements. Let's take a look. We're looking at my study area, uh, the Teapot Dome in Wyoming, and you can see that my map is looking uh, pretty, pretty weak right now, but we all have access to online services uh, hosted by ESRI to, uh, to help us make our maps better. In this case, I'm going to bring in a world imagery service right into my Teapot Dome study area. And we can see that we've got pretty good resolution coming off of this hosted service. I also have image services that I can bring powered by ArcGIS server. So let's bring in an image service and uh, let's learn a little bit about the service that we've brought in. So I can see that uh, by identifying this that we've actually got two images uh, in this image service. Well I'm only interested in working with the DOQQs uh, in this case. So let's go ahead and tell the service only to bring us back the DOQQs. So I'll just set up a quick definition query. DOQQ. And so now we're only viewing the DOQQs uh, displayed from this, this uh, hosted service. I have one more service that we can add. This is an Iconos service. And uh, this Iconos service is housing uh, multi-spectral imagery. And uh, it's displaying it for us here in our view. So I've got a study area that I'm interested in working with at the Teapot Dome. And I want to show you how we can use these image services for analysis. And to do that, I'm going to open up the new image analysis uh, window. Let's select our service. Let's do a quick vegetation analysis. Click of a button. Here's our vegetation analysis. We can make out the water bodies. And if I pan, this is all happening dynamically on demand for this vegetation analysis. We can make up all the vegetation that lines the creek beds in this area of the teapot dome. So I'm happy with the analysis that we're doing so far, but you know, I really need to bring, it, bring down this imagery and use it uh, on my local machine. So I'm going to identify my study area. I think this is the area, yep, this is the area that I want to work with. I'm going to right click on the image service and let's go ahead and download the rasters that I need for this area. I'm only going to gra uh, grab the rasters uh, for the view that we're looking at right now, and I'd only like to grab the TIFF images uh, to download. Let's download these. One thing that I should point out is that we were looking at one seamless image in our map, but this seamless image was actually powered by a number of different uh, images, in this case multispectral imagery, blue, red, green, near-infrared, and there's even a panchromatic layer. So I have just downloaded these images to my machine. Let's turn these off and let's add them to our view. So here is the red, here's the green, the blue, the near infrared, and the panchromatic layer we just downloaded. Add these to view. And if I zoom out, you sure can make out the clipped boundary that we just executed. Uh, exported from that service. Now using the image analysis toolbar, I can do some analysis with these. So we've got these different uh, images that we can work with, and what I'd like to do is create a composite image, a true color composite image of these. So I'm just going to select the, uh, the bands that I'd like to work with, and I'm going to create a composite, and to do that, I just click a button. So here we can see the image that we just created, a true color representation of this area. And if I turn on the base map below it, we'll zoom in to learn a little bit more about the imagery that we're working with. It appears that it doesn't quite line up with the base map service, and that's to be expected, that's fine. We can use the image analysis toolbar here to reference the elevation information I have for the teapot dome to uh, ortho-rectify the image that we were just looking at. So now we can see that the river that we were looking at now lines up 
smoothly with the imagery that we are working with. But one other thing that you might note is that we sure can see a lot of pixelation in the multispectral data that we're working with. Well, that's okay because our panchromatic layer is going to help us uh, smooth this out. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we reference our uh, panchromatic layer appropriately with the terrain information that we have. So I'm going to orthorectify that. Here you can see the panchromatic layer and how smooth it is and that it lines up again with the river that we were using as a reference. I'm going to turn those layers off and grab the two outputs that we just created and let's now pan sharpen those to have our final product here in view. A true color representation, pan sharpened and ortho rectified. Imagery is a valuable tool in our daily GIS workflows and these new enhancements are going to help us work faster and generate better results. Thank you.